Children need constant nourishment at every stage of their development, and they usually depend upon their mothers to provide this nourishment. However, some mothers face to fail to breastfeed their babies for at least six months before introducing formulas and other desirable alternatives, citing excuses such as, I don't want to get out of shape, I go to work, I don't want any discomfort, such as breast sores, sleepless nights. But are these excuses worthy to be compared with the unparalleled benefits of exclusive breastfeeding compared to feeding babies with formulas? You are welcome to Health Tissues with the world. Alright, so I would like to start, start with the benefits for the baby. So welcome back to Health Issues with Libra. I want to say a big thank you for liking my previous videos, for the comments, for subscribing and also for sharing my videos. So let's get started. I would like to start with the benefits of exclusive breastfeeding for the baby. Now, permit me to say that there is no substitute for human milk as it contains the ideal proportion of more than 200 ingredients including carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, enzymes, minerals, and even infection-fighting antibodies which protect the infant from illnesses. Now, do you know that a drop of breast milk contains around 1 million white blood cells? Does your baby formula contains as much as that? And these blood cells are called macrophages. And these macrophages practically eat up gems. They prevent gems from penetrating the bloodstream of your baby. And so they fill the immunity gap until the baby's immune system matures and kicks in. Yes, breast milk fills the immunity gap for your baby before the immune system of your baby matures and kicks in. So why don't you want to feed that baby well? Number two, breast milk helps to reduce allergic reactions. And so there's a reduced risk of allergic reactions in breastfed babies. Breast milk is power packed with immunoglobulin A, eh? which closes the lining of the baby's intestine, immature intestines. These antibodies prevent germs from penetrating the bloodstream of your baby to set up allergic reactions. And that is why breastfed babies have a lesser risk of allergic reactions compared to babies fed with formulas and other alternatives. Number three, breastfed children have higher high key than children fed with formulas. I mean, they have higher intelligent quotient, intellectual capacity than children fed with formulas and other alternatives. And this is because cholesterol and other types of fat in breast milk supports the growth of nerve tissues. So you want your child to be extremely brilliant. You want your child to have a high intellectual capacity. Feed that baby well with breast milk. Number four, breast milk builds brighter vision. I mean, visual acuity is higher in breastfed babies. And the presence of DHA, which is decosaesanoic acid, in breast milk may be one of the reasons for this. And DHA is also essential for the growth and development of the brain. So you want your child to have a very bright vision. Feed that baby well with breast milk. Now, number five, the skin-to-skin -skin contact between the baby and the mother fosters warmth, affection, and this beautiful relationship between the baby and the mother. Do you know how it goes when you are feeding a baby with formula? All that comes to your mind is how that baby is going to empty that bottle. But while you are breastfeeding your baby, you could be there for the next 30 minutes, 45 minutes, even one hour. And with that, you are able to relate well with the baby, look highball into highball with the baby, and you have a good relationship with the baby, which could even affect the relationship of the baby with other people. Now coming to number six, research shows that breastfed babies have a lower incidence of number one, ear infection. Now these babies end up having fewer or at least less severe colds. And fewer colds means fewer ear infection. Those germs and bacteria, they are not able to pass through the bloodstream of that baby so these breastfed babies have a lower incidence of ear infection another thing is that they are five times less likely to suffer upper respiratory infections 
five times likely to suffer upper respiratory infections and other infections such as pneumonia, cholera, even juvenile diabetes is reduced in these children, meningitis, childhood cancer, asthma, and even juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, which can cause joint pains. All these are, 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 are have a lower incidence in children that are fed with breast milk. I don't know if we can achieve all this with your baby's formulas, but I can bet it you can achieve all this with your your breast milk. That is human milk. Seven, breast milk has the capacity to reduce the risk of diseases in children, such as skin rashes, leukemia, obesity, type one diabetes. Eventually, later in life, so you want to help these children to prevent these diseases later in life. Feed them well with breast milk. Another thing is that breast milk helps to lower SID risk. Risk. And what do I mean by SID? Sudden infant death syndrome. And it's also called quick death. This occurs when the child is sleeping. So you don't want a child to just sleep and then you wake up and the child is dead. You know breastfed babies, they don't sleep too deeply. So even when they have difficulty with breathing, they can wake up and the mother can, can discover that. So you want to help, help your child lower the risk of SIDS. Feed that child well with breast milk. Now, this is also hilarious, but I'm going to say this. Breastfed babies smell better. Yes, the stool of breastfed babies have a less offensive buttermilk-like odor compared to that of formula-fed babies. And as a matter of fact, breastfed babies have less constipation. So you want the stool of your baby to smell better, and you want your baby to generally smell better. Feed that baby well with breast milk. I have to say this. Exclusive breastfeeding reduces the risk of food allergies. There is less diarrhea, fewer gastrointestinal infections in breastfed babies, coupled with less vomiting while being breastfed. So you want to help that child, that baby to overcome food allergies. Feed that baby well with breast milk. There are a lot of things I would like to share on this issue, but for the sake of this video, I would like to hang it here. And in my next video, I'm going to continue on the benefits for the baby, and then I will also share with you the rich benefits for the mother. You don't want to trace this for anything well. Feed that baby well with breast milk. Exclusive breastfeeding is a very good one. It is encouraged for you, and it is good for you to feed that baby. So encouraging for you to feed that baby well with breast milk. So that takes us to the question of the day. Yeah, question time. So in my last episode, I asked for the name of the pigment that is responsible for the coloration of the skin. And somebody got it right. The answer is melanin. Melanin is that pigment that gives your skin its color. So what is my question for today? That first secretion of milk that flows in the body of a woman when she puts to bed, what is the name of that milk? That thick yellow milk that flows when the woman just put to bed. What is the name of that milk? Don't forget to leave your answers for me. Just go down the comment section and leave your answer for me. Feel free to also like, comment, share, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out of these beautiful episodes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.